Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video and it's time for the first reviews for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I believe these reviews started going up yesterday uh, and I didn't check them out until today, which is the day after yesterday. Anyway, so uh, I, did I did see a couple reviews just pop up on Twitter. I do follow some places that do reviews uh, now. Um, I don't know why... I follow, I follow them just for news, but they also post reviews. So maybe I should unfollow them because then it's kind of spoils these. But um, I just start following them and then, and then like, oh, well, eh, whatever, who cares? Right, I see a couple reviews. Doesn't mean I know what, you know, the whole overall consensus is. Anyway, it seemed, they seem very positive though, which is not surprising actually because what, what I've seen in the trailers, it looked like a good time. It looks like a good time. So... Let's find out if it is or if it isn't. Uh, I'm going to guess it is. I'm going to say in the 80% range somewhere. It's been a whole day, too, so I'm assuming there will be more reviews than there would have been if I watched it yesterday. Um, I can only assume. There's less reviews somehow. What the fuck? Um, I'm going to say 86%. Yeah, I'm sticking to it. So let's get to it. Let's go. Let's go to Rotten Tomatoes first, baby. Let's go. There they are. Oh man, Haunted Mansion. <laughs> That's about as good as the fucking first Haunted Mansion movie. Damn. Should've just got Eddie Murphy back. Oh man, Sympathy for the Devil went down. That sucks. And it had like an 80-something percent, I think, a couple days ago when I first saw. Um, I want to do a reaction for this, though. I really do. Oh, Alan Unger uh, produced it. He's the uh, guy that did that Uncharted short film. He also did a, a movie with um, the guy from Close to Procol. What's his name? I can't remember. Anyway, uh, what was I looking up again? Oh, yeah. Teenage Mutant. Oh, I see it right there. Shit. All right. Never mind. I just saw it. Oh, God damn. <laughs> I saw it right here. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. 7.8. Oh, that's really good. I mean, I was expecting it to be pretty high, but damn. All right. All right. Hey. Hey, hey, y'all wanted a good Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie? I guess, I guess you're getting one, at least from what the critics are saying. Uh, I still think the first one's great, but whatever. The original. And TMNT, like, the first time I saw it, I was like, eh, but I, I'm, okay. I'm I'm good with it. Talk about the 2007 one before anybody asks what the fuck I mean. Uh, it was just called TMNT. It was CG animated, too, so that's the, the best comparison, I guess. Um, the entire thing was CG animated, besides just the fucking... I, I didn't hate the uh, Michael Bay movies. I know a lot of people didn't like them. I thought I, I liked them. I th I, you know, I thought they were amazing. I think they're the best movies I've ever seen in my life. No, but they're okay. Um, anyway, I actually might prefer the first one over the second one, which I know some people would be like, wait, what the fuck? But uh, I don't know. There's something about the first one that I think, I don't know. Fuck it. All right, let's uh let's get to this. All right, Mute Mayhem is a small win in the tiresome world of IP, one that doesn't need to mutate into anything. Okay, because mute in, into anything further in order to be accepted. Forget Barbenheimer. Fuck that shit. We're, these are the mutant hybrids we want to spend time with this summer. What the fuck does that mean? Are there mutant hybrids in fucking Barbie or Oppenheimer? <laughs> It may sound like they were. You know, forget them. These are the mutant hybrids you want to spend time with. Not those fucks. Oh, I get it because it's mute. The movie's mutated into one title. Well, that's a stretch. Anyway, more of a stretch than the marks I have on my body. Uh, enjoyed the witty banter between the characters and the eye-catching animation. The dynamic between the turtles is the best part of the movie. While Superfly was a great antagonist. What? He's an antagonist? I thought he was... Ice Cube's the antagonist? No way. Adding all the other mutants made the final act too crowded. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 I felt when I heard that they were going to have so many of the characters, I, I felt like it was probably going to be a little bit too much. Not that I care, honestly, as long as it doesn't feel too bloated, it, but this one does say it's too crowded, so. A Mutant Mayhem is an absolute winner! It's a good mixture of nostalgia for someone like me, or myself, fans since the 90s, by the way, mm, while also embracing newcomers, but also made me feel like I was experiencing a new version of Ninja Turtles for the first time. Oh, here's IGN, they give it a 8 out of 10. Uh, oh no, I see my nemesis down there. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Shut up, I'm doing video! 
my AC. Anyway. What was I doing? Anyway, uh, but he liked it. Good, good for you. Anyway, oh, IGN. TMNT Mayman oozes confidence, energy, and heart, and the animated adventure represents a new high for turtles on the big screen. Uh, okay, they liked it. It's summer holiday eye candy with Sure Betty Boo Babu Experimental Fizz. I don't know what the fuck. A, th a thoroughly endearing film that's difficult to dislike. Aha. Uh -huh. You don't understand the internet. It plays like a YA novel in that the... Well... It plays like a YA novel. Wait. I don't... Alright. That might... Alright. Maybe like a Harry Potter. Like, whenever I think of YA novel, I think of the really shitty ones. Like, of course, Twilight and stuff like that. But okay. Yeah, technically, Harry Potter is one. In that the turtles... Turtles' need for acceptance into human society is a rel relatable motif. I feel like a lot of the Turtles movies are like that. Even the fucking Michael Bay ones. I, I say Michael Bay ones. He only produced them. He didn't fucking do anything else. And the animation fits the story with its rough edges and scratchy details. Okay, cool. Yeah, I do like that in the animation. All right, she's getting close. It is charming, energetic, and artistically exhilarating. A thrilling time at the movies. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit high in there. Um, all right, Jonathan Sim. Overall, it's, no, I'll read it. Um, I don't want to do her voice right now. I, I haven't had a lot of sleep. You know, I, I need to like be a uh, ah, fuck it. Uh, 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 De definitely, def definitely inspired by the Spider Verse movies. Seth Rogen's TMNT. Wait, I'm not as loud as I should be. Uh, Seth Rogen's TMNT movie manages to be both a nod to that groundbreaking film and it's, it's still a mass stand on its own. Adults will be impressed. While this should be a mind blowing experience for kids, top notch. There you go. That's pretty good, right? Sounds just like her. <laughs> Sounds like if you crossed Grace Randolph with a, like a chicken. <laughs> like a, you know, a cartoon chicken. That's how a cartoon chicken would talk. God, it's a living. You know, like that. C combine that voice with Grace Randolph's. That's the impression I'm doing. Anyway, I like she talked more about the Spider Verse movies than TMNT. In that, by the way, like, if you're a fan of Spider Verse movies, then you'll definitely be a fan of TMNT. All right. I mean, maybe it makes more sense when you watch the movie. I mean, I get the animation style, but besides that, like it's a completely different property but all right anyway it, overall it's an exceedingly decent animated film damn that serves as another fun entertaining experience that may or may not have you yelling cowabunga uh, I'm, I'm in the theater i'm like hey cowabunga hey what's up kids cowabunga right hey hey what's up i'm like you hello fellow kids got my fucking baseball cap on hey hey cowabunga am i right you little fucking twerps Anyway, TMNT Mutant Mayhem is a refreshing new take on beloved beloved characters. The film looks absolutely incredible at stunning animation and killer action scenes. The turtles experience growing pains in a world that fears them. I mean, they look like Shrek. Get it? Yeah, there you go. I wanted to read the one negative review. Considering Rogan's participation as both a writer and actor, it's surprising that Mutant Mayhem plays it so safe. It's a fucking turtle movie. Not merely in terms of plot, but with regards to its comedy. Okay. I mean, it is a turtles movie. I don't, I don't really get that one, but okay. I mean, safe could mean a lot of things. It doesn't mean like... Well, he he, he called out Seth Rogen. So, it, it, obviously, this uh, Nick man uh, from Daily Beast wanted... Uh, it to have more of that Seth Rogen style of humor, I would guess, which it would not fit in a PG movie. When I heard he was making this, making this, uh, he wrote the script. He was probably getting high. Like, uh, you know, I didn't realize this comes out in, in a, very soon. Like, not even in a week, right? That's this is like what Wednesday it comes out. I just, sorry, technically you can see it on Tuesday, right? Because August first is. Tuesday, I believe, right? Or is it not? Yeah, it is, right? I think so. Um, damn, I didn't realize how close it is to come out. Like, I, my brain was, like, middle of August, and then I just... It's an August 2nd. <laughs> I think it was originally supposed to come out, like, later in August, but I think it got moved up a little bit. Um, which is probably a good idea, considering, you know, this weekend, no one's seeing Haunted Mansion, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, no one is. No one gives a fuck about Haunted Mansion. Uh... 
especially after reviews. Like, that movie's going to bomb, just like every fucking Disney movie. I don't know what the fuck they were smoking. That shit went straight to digital. I don't know why the hell they fucking released that in theaters. There was no way in hell. Who knows? I guess it could do well. <laughs> I'm sure I'll go look up right now. Let's see. You know, let's see, actually. Fuck it. Now I want to know how it, well it did on Thursday. Let's see. Uh, any reviews about that? No. Or no views articles? Oh, here we go. 3.1 in previews. <laughs> Which, by the way, is not terrible. But I think that would mean around a $25 million weekend. Which is not great for a hundred and fifty million dollar movie. Which I don't know why they put that much money in a haunted mansion movie. Did they not learn their lesson for the first movie? The first movie didn't do well. <laughs> that was back when you know Eddie Murphy was huge. Still, <laughs> well, huge, more huge than he is now. I mean, and not that Eddie Murphy's in this. But I'm just saying. Uh, that is a big surprise. Sixty six percent for Twisted Metal. I didn't realize all the episodes came out the same day. I thought they were going to be weekly, but uh, no, they're all out today. I might watch the first one, see how, see how I like it. See how I like it. I don't really want to get fucking Peacock just for that, though, so. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I think I read enough, right? It seems good. I mean, it's a small win, entire some world of IP, one that doesn't need to mutate. I already read that. Oh, I'm fucking reading again. <laughs> oh, wait, no. We need to check out... Uh, Check out my background. See my little JoJo figures? Look at them. Aren't they the fucking cutest things you've ever seen? Anyway, um, let's go to Metacritic. Look at them. Oh, 55. Oh, 74. Well, that's... I mean, yeah, I guess I had 7.8. Um, uh, on Rotten Tomatoes, so that makes sense. 9, 8, 8. It's a lot of 8s, probably, yeah. yeah. Here's the Daily Beast Nick guy. Considering we're gonna... Oh, how come there wasn't more pot jokes? <laughs> Hey guys, wanna smoke some weed? <laughs> Wait, who's uh who's Seth Rogen voice? Does he voice um uh Frankie? No, uh, <laughs> Frank, Frank, my favorite Turtles character, Frankie. Uh no, um he voices um Shut the fuck up, don't tell me. You're not here anyway. Bebop or Rocksteady, I forgot which one he voices. I know he voices one of them. Uh I'm gonna guess Bebop. <laughs> no no reason why. Anyway, uh so that's <laughs> There you go, that's it. Uh, I don't know, so that's cool. It might just be that, a series for us. What? I like the original. Fuck you. I'll beat you up. Fucker. Talking shit.